and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at how the season has gone so far in the Premier League. So, if you've been following the series, we've been going um, uh, along the seasons um, to carry Hereford up to the Premiership. But we finally did that. We got we it's the first season in the, in the Premiership, and obviously there's lots of uh, challenges to overcome, but. Um, we're not doing too bad. As you can see at the top of the screen, we're in 16th at the moment. Uh, the previous episode we lost with Middlesbrough for the Carabao Cup. And since then, we had a kind of a, a run of bad form, really, especially in the month of, month of December, uh, where we scored only one goal in that month um, against Sunderland. And then since then, we kind of picked up a little bit we managed to get through to the fourth round, sorry, the fifth round of the FA Cup, which we just lost against Chelsea. So next we're going to play Nottingham Forest for the league. And after that, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine matches after that. So let me first take you through the transfers in this winter period. So we made six transfers in and then we had six transfers out like for like okay let's take you through the squad in a sort of orderly way let me put this back on to uh yeah general will be fine okay so we still have the same two goalkeepers whose man is proving to be the better keeper uh it's lucky that we are going to have him on a permanent deal from the summer because we uh, the loan comes with a mandatory free mandatory fee so he's looking really good like he could be a keeper for the future um anthony had a really good mid season but then dropped off a little a little bit so ended up um putting his man uh, his main um at the front in first play in uh, first pick for goalkeeper the right side of the fence we have one new uh, player Fabian Garcia so he's Uruguayan you'll you start to see a trend here that we're getting more players from abroad that's because our scouting coverage if we go to knowledge we know quite a lot of uh, players now North Africa South America and other parts of Europe as well so you'll start to see some players from these regions t turning up in our squad so Fabian Garcia uh, came as a, essentially sort of I think this position is probably the, our weakest one um, he's not a great player but he's a lot better than the player we had before which was ta -ta -ta. if we go to transfers you will juggle my memory oh yeah TJ TJ was starting to drop off so we sold him for 60k uh, sorry more than that 230k we sold someone for 60k, I can't remember who. Anyway, TJ was sold to Cambridge, so he's gone back to League One. Um, he's already played five matches for them, so I think he's quite happy down there. The Premier League was a little bit too much for them. So Fabian is new. He came actually from, uh, I don't know, a team in First League Uruguay. I can't pronounce it. Um, then in defense, we still have Harry Suter, which is basically our star player. But we went to get someone we were interested in in the summer, but didn't manage to get in. Uh, so rather than Ross Davis, who was our captain, um, we loaned Ross Davis out and we got in Tom Atchison from Blackburn for 1.2 million. Um, then uh, in the non-nonsense center back position we still have Linda as he's been with us in a while he's probably gonna be with us for the foreseeable future I think he still can still improve quite a lot um, and we sold uh, I think Nathan Wood he's the one that we sold for 60k there we go uh, so we sold him off and we got in uh, where is it? Have I lost it? There we go. We got in 
a Japanese player. Yoshinori Odagiri seems to be a hot prospect, only 20 years old, from Kashima in the, the J1 League. So he'll be just developing essentially. Linde is more than capable to play for us in a main role. Uh, for the other centre-back position, we still have the same two, Velinov from Bulgaria, who we got uh, earlier in the season. And one of the players that's been with us for longer now, not the longest, actually, uh, I'll come on to that, but yeah. He's been with us for a while now, still with us. Left side, we have two new players. This is a complete revamp of the left side of the fence. First of all, we've got Kamal, and Kamal is definitely... He's got the potential to be our next star player. As you can see here, he's considered to be a wonder kid. He's got very good physicals, except jumping reach. Um, mental ability is almost perfect for this sort of level of squad. Lacking some flair, but he's only a... I guess, I guess if it was a fullback, he, he could do with some flair, actually. But anyway. And then technical abilities. Uh, he's not great as an attacking fallback, but actually I play the defensive role anyway, so uh, all of the defensive attributes are there. So he actually has a few more that he doesn't really need. So that's good. So Kamal is basically, we're banking on him for the future. He's contracted for the next four years. So until the age of 24, he's going to develop a lot. Um, and the other player for that position is, if I could find him, Oh, where is he gone? Christian Reyes. Oh, yeah. Christian Reyes is less able um, than Kamal, but he'll do well as a backup. So basically, they don't sort of get on top of each other. He's uh, contracted as a youngster, so his prospects are lower. Came from Chile, Curico Unido is where he used to play before. So. Not a huge amount, not a huge deal in terms of transfers, I don't think, for those guys. So, so far we talked about Tom, who came from 1.2k. We talked about the Japanese player, 2.2k. Uh, Fabian Garcia, the right back, 155k. Um, Kamal, 3.9 million. And Christian for 1 million. The other player, we'll talk about him in a minute, but is not a transfer, it's on loan. So no changes for the defensive midfield, we still have the same two players, um, real life players as well. Fed is now our captain, to replace Ross Davis as our captain. Uh, in the midfield, Esmail still, and um, where is Christian? Christian also there. In fact, the midfield is going to need a massive rebound because I think as a collective, that is probably our weakest. Um, I mean, the right side of the fence is also weak, but this is where... I, th I think if we sort out the midfield, we could be winning a lot more games, is what I mean. And then on the right side of attack, again, another position that needs a bit of re revamping. You still have Lamy, who's our, I guess, old standing, oldest standing player. Uh, with the longest relationship with the club. And then we have Seb, who's also been in the club for ages, currently injured. So this, this position will also need revamping at some point in the future. On the left side, we have one new player, Daniel Abad. He's a Spanish player, very fast. Um, and yeah, look at his tech technical ability is already good for someone of 19 years of age. Mental ability is lacking a bit, but I think uh, he can develop. The thing is, he's not ours. He is only on loan from Villarreal. No clause to keep him after that, so we'll just have to keep an eye on him and see if we can get him at some point in the future, or maybe if just find someone better eventually. The other player for that position is still Riley Owen, who's uh, starting to decline now, over 26 years of age. In attack, still have the same two. We have Emre, who's probably going to be our striker for the foreseeable future. Um, until we get someone to come alongside him as well. For now, we have the soon-to-retire Georgios from Greece. Uh, he's been doing okay. 
He's uh, he's got very strong finish. He's a basically he's a great poacher. If you look at all the poaching attributes, he's pretty much spot on for all of them, especially the um, the essential ones. So if I if you look at just the key attributes, he's got 17 finish, 16 anticipation, 16 composure, 16 off the ball. Decisions is 15, but that's not key. The only thing he's lacking actually. Uh, is acceleration as obviously he's so old now 37 so he's lacking that um so he'll play a year and then we'll find someone else to come alongside emra so essentially we are building the squad for the future now we've got quite a few players that are here for the foreseeable future who, that have a pretty good potential um and we have quite long contracts on a lot of them. So uh, Sam, Smith, Sam Smith actually isn't part of the squad. He's from the under 18. So let's ignore him. He's a great player, obviously. We've got Kamal until 2036. We need to uh, renew... Actually, these, this guy's joining and then... Yeah, so actually doesn't tell us how long he's joining for. I guess just a year. We'll have to figure that out. Uzmain, he'll stay with us, but I just don't know for how long because he, he has actually joined um, um, on a permanent deal yet. But all of these guys, Kamal, uh, Yoshinori, Linda, I guess Sutar is an older player, so he's only a, on a yearly contract. But Christian as well. Some of the, some, Even some of these lower down, Emra and Tom, they're all contracted for four years. Um, Zahari only has two years left. And obviously we spoke about Harry. Uh, and Daniel is in even hours. So basically our top players for the future have all been locked in. With some others kind of of the midfield. Um, also here on, on longer contracts. If we don't want to keep them, that's fine. We have quite healthy transfer values for them so we can make money that way so that is the squad um no further news really the youth candidates are not looking great but we've got a few prospects to come and the 21 is doing really badly at the bottom of the table pretty much uh, as far as other competitions i think they're out of everything uh, oh no, they're still in the cup, but I guess that's a group, yeah, they're not going to make it. Okay, Bristol Street Motors, they have came they came bottom of that group. The other 18 is a ninth, which I don't even know what that means, is that bottom? Uh, middle of the table, so not too bad. And they got knocked out in the third round of the FA Youth Cup. And they didn't qualify from their youth division cup either. So better better for the under 18s than the under 21s, but still not doing any wonders. Money wise, we're quite healthy. In fact, I've been able to invest a bit more. We are going to update my, our training facilities yet again. Um, so that is money that's gone in. I think it's going to make them state of the art now. They are at the moment. Uh, superb. So the next level up will be state of the art. The other bit of news is there's a planning. Um, in, there's planning in place to extend the stadium by two thousand seats. So that is. I'm not even sure how to get to that club vision board. Um, oh, there we go. Stadium planning. Um, I don't have the news item for that anymore. But um, according to, the, if I remember it correctly, it was about 2,000 seats that they were going to increase it by. So as things are going um, up in terms of developing the club. We're looking for an affiliate. I don't think I'm going to get this increased transfer and wage because they just increased that recently. But I'll try. We at the moment have... Let me just lower this a bit. There we go. 11 million still in the bank for transfers. 
but we're not obviously not going to use it now so that's going to be saved for next year which is grand all right then so we are laying in 16th we've basically been in and out of the relegation zone uh, we didn't go very deep into it. I guess the, we'd be 19th at one point, but basically been staying around 18th with some uh, spells above up to 14th at one point. And then kind of been stabilizing on 17th, which is the position just above the relegation. So I don't think we're going to go um, anywhere near the middle of the table, but I think we should be safe um, from relegation. Which will give us, I think, 25 million at the end of the season. If I go to competitions and rules. Yeah, 25.1 million is what we'll get if we avoid the relegation. So, let's get into it. Oh, what did it tell me? Tell, did it tell me something? Oh, I'm missing a sub. Well, never mind. I took Alex out while I was showing off the squad. So I don't really know what to do with Alex because Alex is coming out of contract in the summer. I don't think he's worth necessarily a renewal because then he will be more expensive. And I wouldn't be able to sell him for a load of money. Maybe I, m I might. Maybe I might. So it might be worth renewing his contract and then selling him off in the summer. Um, potentially, or I could just wait for. I think PSG is interested on a f on a free contract, so I could just wait until PSG snatches them. And I think if they snatch him, we get some bonuses anyway. So he could just be making money forever for the club, small increments. But I don't know. We'll see. I think he's the first player that I've had in this save where he's actually a realistic prospect for money making, but I just don't know what the best way to do it is, whether I should renew it now and risk actually not being able to sell him for that much, or just letting him go because actually he's not going to be an amazing player. I don't think he's going to be an amazing player. Uh, he, he won't be a bad player, but he's not going to be like the next one. He's not a wonder kid, is what I mean. He, it says he's worth between 20 and 30 million, but I, I don't necessarily buy that. Okay, so we're going to put in coal and that's it for now. Change this to not sure why it has these. So, slowly now we're able to build the squad up to a, a point where now we can start to cement it on onto like the future, and maybe in two or three seasons' time, you can two or three seasons time we can challenge for the title who knows obviously we won't get to European uh, competitions this season next season we might finish further up or we might have better a better run of luck in the cup competitions so we might end up with a European place somewhere but yeah this year no chance of that happening I think Okay, let's finish off by doing the three last subs. I get Jojo in for a bit. And now I'm just gonna work out who is the most tired among all of these. So I've got 
this guy. I think I'm gonna get Daniel out and put Riley in. Okay. That's a really poor cross. This was an offside anyway. Yeah, so um, it's getting quite exciting now, now that we are able to think about the future and basically the players that we're buying now are players that we could potentially have in the Premier League for a while. Obviously as we get into European competitions the standards get higher and higher, but we're starting to be able to put a squad together that can hold for a few years and having all these young players come in as well. It helps with that continuity. He's going to have to shoot that one. Not too far. That's okay. So I'll catch up with you again at the end of the season, just to let you know where we ended up. And uh, yeah, just excited to play the next few seasons, actually. As we get more and more money, we're making about four million, um, uh, sorry, six million a month. We've been able to invest some of it back into the club as well. And um, we should be quite healthy next year for finances, so we'll try to bring in a better... Um, better squad. I'm also investing quite heavily in scouting as well. Make sure I get any deals from um, South America and other countries like that. So just trying to see what talent there is outside the UK and bring some of that in if I can. So we'll carry that on and I'll catch up with you at the end of the season. Thanks so much for watching until the end and uh, see you next one. Take care. Bye bye.